Hey guys, this is Nerdy Girl, and I know this video is like super late or something because this is the second episode episode of Story Time. I was looking back, and I saw that the first episode of Story Time was back in the end of January, and we're in the end middle ish of April now. And I decided that I finally came up with another story that I felt was funny enough to sh share it on Story Time. So here we go. This was actually quite recently this was uh in the beginning of the last semester so around august last year oh wow that's almost a year ago but <laughs> it's still recent if you compare it to the last story whatever it was in the end of august last year when i had recently started high school if you have followed my vlogs from back then you know when i started high school i was super nervous and now i'm not i'm as happy as i could be with my school and blah 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 if you guys want me to do a school update, I could most certainly do that, but that's besides the point. Um, and, well, <sighs> now it came out the point completely. Well, I think it was the first, second-ish day of school. Uh, the uh, Let's say there are first graders, second, and third graders on in high school then, which I think is a le uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th, but I will call them 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, because that's what we call them. Um, and I am a 1st grader in high school, and the 2nd and 3rd graders had prepared some, basically some challenges that we were supposed to do to kind of bring the groups and the classes together a little bit more. And as you guys know, I study media, so I was with my class, and... We got to do a bunch of weird challenges, including doing a flash mob in front, like in the middle of the schoolyard. We were standing there in a big circle, dancing Gangnam Style because that's the only thing we could figure out that anyone, that everyone could. And we took a group picture. We took some pictures with people working in the local cafe at the school. It was just a great time. But there was one challenge that included eating an entire uh, raw yellow onion and there was one thing if the whole class kind of shared it then was this was one thing but we you got extra points if one person ate the entire onion can you guys guess who ate that onion of course it was me and i have always been this kind of person that i am picky with food but there it takes a lot to food to make me gag and to make me feel really grossed out. Really, really grossed out. Um, and a, a raw onion isn't one of those. And when it comes to spice, I'm quite sensitive to like pepper spice. But things such as onions and garlic, I'm not as sensitive to. So I, I think that's really weird. Uh, but that's also besides the point. Um, but I, uh, they ran off to the school kitchen a couple of my classmates and got an onion and it it was quite small to be a yellow onion I gotta say it was not like the size of an apple but it was gross <laughs> let me tell you and I stood there in the middle of the school yard, like right in front of the main entrance and with my whole class surrounding me and I bit into that onion and immediately regretted uh, offering myself to eat that dang onion and <laughs> well I ate the whole thing but after that I felt so sick I felt so nauseous I was so scared I was literally minutes away from throwing up so when the rest of the class kept doing these things I actually literally ran off to the closest bathroom and started dry heaving I never threw up though Maybe this is TMI, but I was I felt so sick, and it was just really gross. But when I came back, everyone was like, "Ha!" It, it became kind of like a meme, and one of their challenge was to create a Facebook fan page for someone in the class, and they did one called Matilda eats a raw onion, and uh, it became kind of like a meme. There's tons of memes in our class, and that's hilarious. But it kind of became like a meme, and it's not anymore which I'm happy about actually um, but it was for the first semester I'd say but the 
worst part and the end of this story, it's not the bad part, but it's the cringiest part, was that when I came home that day, my father was standing in the kitchen frying onions. So the whole dang house smelt of onions and the smell made me feel nauseous for the coming like three or four weeks I felt nauseous just smelling onion. So that's the story of when I ate a raw yellow onion. Anyway, I hope you guys aren't too upset with me taking ages to come up with another story time, but I am really trying to and whenever I come up with a new story and feel like recording I'll try my best to do so. And also I'm sorry for not making the 100th subscriber video. It I feel like it will take way too... Uh, I don't have the time to put the effort into it that I want to. I know that makes no sense whatsoever. But yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy this story time episode and thank you so much for being awesome mythical nerdsters and yeah! So thank you guys so much for listening and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care folks. Bye bye!